this month's license C is Omni Cosmetics. Now, I had a quick look for the history of this stuff. You just get loads and loads of cosmetic surgery companies called Omni Cosmetics. Seems to be a really popular name of having your face re- rearranged. Couldn't find too much about them, but doesn't matter. Does it matter? Let's get on with the range, Andy. Now, you probably don't collect this stuff, do you, Andy, because it's not British. No, I cannot start buying stuff from other countries because it will never stop. A Leia bubble bath bottle was sold in the UK. Fairly sure of that. Oh, Andy. Ooh. Andy, you've got to start buying this stuff. Well, until you show me one with a UK prior sticker, Jason. <laughs> well, the thing was, both me and Mark Newbold had this bottle as a kid, and they were both bought from the Midlands. <sighs> I mean, from... On authority from me and Mr. Newbold that these were sold in the UK. That's good enough for me, Andy. He's yeah, part of Star Wars now. Dodgy import. Dodgy oh, import. Dodgy Very import. Oh, that's, that's, that's strong words, Andy. Strong words. <laughs> I think they're British. I think that's a British item. You're going to have to start buying it. What, what I do with my collection, I, I buy sets of things that I had as a kid. And I had the layer bottle. So I'm trying to get a full set of the bottles. So I've got, I've got, I've got four to go at this point. They're quite easy to pick up, but the trouble is, if you get them from America in the UK, you have to pay about thirty quid postage. So I'm trying to do it on the cheap. But when I'm going to Rogue Fun um, at the weekend, I've kind of put on the request for room sales if anyone's got any of these Omni bubble bath bottles, so I can pick them up there. There you go. Well, you can just pick them in Britain, Jason. Well, just... that they're uh, they're British. Cosmetics to me says lipstick and makeup, but cosmetics to these people isn't that, is it? It's basically shampoo, soap, and what else? Bubble, Bubble bath. bath. Oh, and, and beauty bags, apparently. It's apparently a Princess Leia beauty bag, which is beautiful. It's not very, actually, it's not very beautiful at all, actually. So, Andy, let's get on with the range. What did they do? <laughs> What did they do? Well, Jason's already mentioned shampoo bottles. Yes. So uh, talk us through those. Which ones have you got? Right. The ones I've got. Well, the ones I need, I need a, I need a Wicket, <laughs> an R2-D2. What are those? I need a Chewbacca. I think I've got all the rest. So, And they all came with a little tag that went around the neck saying Star Wars shampoo and the name of the figure and then the amount of bubble bath and the thing. It says 10 fluid ounces. 295 milliliters, I think, on the Darth Vader. Jabba the Hutt, which again, a Luke X-Wing. Let's just stop on the Luke X-Wing because uh, it's yeah. a little bit rude, I think. It's oddly it's oddly coloured. Yeah, it's just very orange and white with a kind of, I don't know, grey helmet. It didn't even look like an X-Wing helmet. It is a grey helmet, yeah. But look at his left hand. That's a little bit rude. I mean, what's he? he's holding a gun, I think. But the top of the gun is coming out of his hand, and it's not the greatest representation of Luke. That's what we know. I don't know. Is that just me thinking rudely? Well, I, I, I can see where you're going with it. It's a little bit rude. Anyway, continue, Jason. Anyway, Princess Leia, which is the one I had as a child. From Britain. From Britain in the middle. There's an R2-D2, which I'm still to get. There's a wicket. Looks very nice. little wicket, all in brown. Yoda. There seems to be a lot of these things kicking around because you, you you can you can pick them up completely full with the they're wrapped in a kind of clear plastic wrapping, and it is possible to pick them up with the wrapping still on. So you can get a, a full mint in box set of these with all the bubble baths still intact if you're so inclined. And what's going on with Yoda's eyes? Look at Yoda's eyes, absolutely drunk. There is quite a variation in quality. <laughs> And the scaling on these, isn't there? And Yoda's actually one of the best ones in terms of the paint application. Not sure about his right eye, to be fair. Yeah. A little it's, bit it's, dodgy there, but... His left eye looks fine. but his right eye, it's looking a little bit strange. But there we go. But on but the he, branding, though, on the branding, it's not Return of the Jedi, is it? It came out in 83, this stuff. And it's, it's Star Wars, so they've not gone with the Return of the Jedi branding. They've just gone Star Wars. They have. Um, what you notice I mean, about Princess Leia? She's not from Re- the Return of the Jedi at all. That is her in her uh, Star Wars white gown with the Star Puffs hairdo. So quite why they've gone with that, I don't know. I mean, I suppose it would be difficult to sculpt uh, Leia in her bikini, but they should have like, Ewok dress, maybe, or I don't know. I mean, if you're saying bubble bath the kids, then you know 
certain a certain age of church, I would have wanted that bubble bath and that slave layer <laughs> costume. So, but an interesting but, choice though. So, in 1983, not cashing in on the big film, um, you know, Return of the Jedi, and they've they've, they've just gone with a, a very generic Star Wars branding. They have, which a lot of companies did, didn't they, around about that time? We saw it more with Empire Strikes Back, those stuff, didn't it? When it came out in like, like the sort of 1981, they kind of ignored the sequel kind of and look and went Star Wars. But this has just completely ignored the whole thing. But we, we've we seen it seems to be Return of Jedi was, we, we'll have the Return of Jedi license and go with that. These guys have just gone, no, we're just going to have the word Star Wars because that's, I wonder if that, that was made for them or by them. You know, did they look at it and go, right, we want to just make this stuff for Star Wars and not for Return of the Jedi? Or maybe they had the license early and uh, and didn't do anything with it. Oh, actually, Galactic Size Soap has a Return of the Jedi logo on it. So that was a shelf organiser for the Star Wars soaps. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah that good spot. So it's going always, back to these bubble baths, yes, you've, got, bubble baths. You've, got, you've got eight figures. Uh, mm-hmm. So you've got Jabba the Hutt, and it looks as if he's just a... A, a green blob, basically. Uh, oh, he has got yellow eyes, I tell a lie. There is a little bit of paint on there. Yoda, uh, like you say, his eyes are painted and his, uh, his robe or whatever it is, he's painted in a sort of whitey, creamy colour. R2-D2 is uh, sculpted in white uh, and he's got a little bit of blue detail on the head. Poor Wicket doesn't come off very well at all, does he? He's just brown. A brown lump. It looks like something you might find floating in your toilet bowl. Well, he's a brown lump anyway, let's face it. Luke, as you say, he's sculpted in orange. He's got white boots, white gloves, a white harness and a grey helmet. Chewie, well, Chewie's just like wicket, isn't he? Just brown. Brown. No detail. Brown, Brown. all brown. Why is is Darth Vader so short on that picture? Or is that just your display? Oh, that's display of that picture. Yeah, no, I, th- I think it is. Vader is is really distinctly small. He's a lot shorter than Leia, which is interesting. That's very interesting. Uh, Vader is all in black. No detail, no colour. Very boring. And Leia is all in white, but with a flesh-coloured face and brown hair. So at least they put a little bit of paint on Princess Wearing, Leia. She was obviously doing her job at the snooker, because she's got the lovely white gloves on to replace the cracked balls and the spots. She has. Good spot there, Pete. Thank you. This is a display stand. You've got a shelf on the bottom, so what would sit on the store shelf. And all eight bubble baths fit on there. There's a backdrop uh, in dark blue. Looks like a cardboard backdrop with X-Wing and TIE Fighter on it. There's a central little stand um, stand up where I guess on the top you could put some more product. Uh, on the so on that top bit it says Star Wars bath collection and then on the base it says shampoo bubble bath collect them all collect them all you see so they were they weren't thinking about selling bubble bath to kids they were talking about collecting the actual items which is very strange and again, most human beings then would have got your your products use your products and thrown the bottle away but they're getting you to collect them so that's is that I don't think I've ever seen that on a a kind of like a, what you would call a consumable. Because yeah, they are consumables, they, aren't they? Are they trying to tap into that um, action figure market? Well, well, clearly. I mean, you don't say collect them all, do you, unless you want people to collect them all. Yeah. So they, they put some a, marketing thought there. Wasn't that a phrase that Kenny used on the card backs? Collect them all. Yeah. But it's an interesting thing, isn't it? They, they are not to be collected. Well, they are to be collected, but they are now. But then... They were, they were in there, 983. They want you to buy all of them, and they've gone with getting into kids' heads. You need all of these. You have to have all of them. That's fa- that, is, that is fascinating. So you've got the, the bubble baths, and you've got the set of figures, but then it looks – I mean, I've been comparing the photos on the archive. You have them as shampoos as well in exactly the same bowls. The only thing that seems to be different between the bubble bath and the shampoo is the little label that's attached that either says bubble bath or shampoo – that's interesting. That could be confusing, couldn't it? Having worked for a company of that sort of ilk, then there's not a great lot of difference. Well, if, you, if, you, if you put it in your hair, it, all it's going to do is just wash it. I wouldn't worry I, about it. I'm correct in saying that it's exactly the same bottle. It's just the little label attached that's different. 
Does that mean I've got to get two sets of these things? Now? Yes, you do. You have to. Get, you have to get. And Andy has to get both the Princess Leia British ones that were sold over here. I'm trying to remember if mine was a shampoo or a bubble bath. Ooh, Jason, you need that label. Oh, now, now that is tricky. Was it a shampoo? Or was it a bubble bath that I had? Oh, oh, I, Jason. I, I'd have. Jason. I, I'd have to take a guess on that. I'm saying bubble bath, but you know. I'll have, to, I'll have to confer with Mr. Newbold and see what, what he thinks he used this for. Is this is a mystery, but they do look exactly the same. And as I said, why wouldn't you do that? You don't have to have a certain t- different type of container to put bubble bath or shampoo in, a pl- maybe apart from an applicator. Yeah, that's, that's the point. How does this stuff come out? You just take the heads off, don't you? You pull the head off and there's a little tube and you just squeeze it out. Didn't Carrie Fisher complain once about having her likeness used for a shampoo bottle and she had nothing, I think, nothing I think to this, do about it? This was the bottle. And, uh, yeah. So pe- people uh, people twist her head off and pour shampoo out of her <laughs> neck. I don't yeah. think she was very happy with that. Oh, no, see, that's that's a bit princessy, isn't it? I mean, who cares? You're probably getting a lot of money for doing these things. Yeah. Yeah, I don't doubt it. No. Oh, no. I'm making loads of money out of a shampoo bottle. And I'm going to get work for doing it. Okay, so we've got bubble baths. We've got our refueling station as well. Yeah, now the refueling stations are interesting because I've never seen this in the UK. They are basically... So you've got some shop displays. Just refills. refills. Yeah, refills. Um, Shop displays um, to hold 12 bottles... So one says bubble bath refueling station. The other one says shampoo refueling station. And yeah, they are literally just refills. So it's a standard bottle. It says on it, Star Wars shampoo refueling station. Picture of some mech wings. Refill eight fluid ounces, 236.6 milliliters. That's very precise, isn't it? I've only got 236.5 milliliters. I want my money back. Is that not, not a translation for the, you know, the opposite, liters or whatever it is? Eight, um, eight, eight fluid ounces, ounces yeah, yeah, I'm sure it is. Yeah. So, bubble baths. We've got shampoo and hair care products. And we've got soap as well. So the famous soaps have the wonderful descriptions on them. They do. Let me start off with the one that I did at uh, Celebration on our oh, live no. podcast. Because um, I, I brought this as my gimp crack challenge item. Uh, and it says, Pretty Princess Leia. Pretty. Senator, I can't believe that you used that. Yeah, Senator and Princess on Alderaan, now a dedicated leader of the rebel effort. Because she's courageous and fearless in her attempts to overthrow Imperial tyranny, she's powerful at helping you get rid of ugly dirt and grime. <laughs> Lather up with Leia, and you'll feel just like a princess yourself. I, I find that quite erotic, Andy, to Do you feel like a princess, what? Pete? Oh, I do after that. <laughs> See if uh, see if Pete finds Yoda as erotic, shall we? Of course he's erotic. Wise Yoda, the Jedi Master, dwells on the bog planet Dagobah. He's taught all the Jedi Knights, including Obi-Wan Kenobi, and because he's had over 800 years of experience, he's oh. a master at helping to keep you clean. <laughs> Lather up with Yoda. He'll help you to destroy ugly dirt and grime, and he'll make you feel mighty good about yourself too. No, I bet he does as well, using the force on you. He's a little sausage, isn't he? Goodness be. Luke Skywalker, the bravest of all the warriors in the rebellion. Once a farm boy on the desert world of Tatooine, now he mans his own spaceship, fighting the Imperial forces wherever he finds them. That's why he's so great at cleaning up dirt and grime, yes. Lather up with Luke and feel like a hero yourself. Sounds like he's out on his own there, doesn't it? Man's his own spaceship, fighting Imperial forces wherever yeah. he finds them. Yeah, because there's no one can be... It doesn't even consider Porkins getting roasted on the Death Star. Yeah, I mean, no, you, you know, it's all about him. Bloody hell. Chatty CTPO. This talkative droid is always seen with his pal, R2-D2. But now you can be his buddy too. CTPO understands every language... And because he's such a good, all-knowing companion, he knows best how to get rid of dirt and grime. Lather up with C-3PO. He's your best pal when it comes to keeping clean. I bet he doesn't understand Geordie. He'd be, like, completely lost. 
you know, sometimes people say things to me here. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I agree. Gamorian God, Jabba the Hutt's elite corps of personal protectors who also guards the prisoners in his palace. Though they walk upright like humans, they're really powerful monsters. That's why they're so great at helping you wipe out dirt and grime. Lather up with the Gamorian God. You'll feel plenty powerful yourself. That's such a stretch, isn't it? We got one more, and that is Fearless Darth Vader. This towering giant is the evil leader of the Imperial forces. What about the Emperor? He is the most powerful villain in the galaxy. That's what makes him so great at rubbing out dirt and grime. Lather up with Darth Vader and feel like a giant yourself. Have we done Wicket? We haven't done Wicket, no. Right, I'm going to do it sideways on, but here we go. Playful Wicket, Wicket the Ewok. The small furry Ewok hunter and friend to Princess Leia. He looks harmless, but is a fearless fighter when provoked. That's why he's so great at helping you win the battle against, wait for it, Dirt and Grime. Oh, what a surprise. Lather up with Wicket the Ewok and feel playful yourself. Ooh, her missus. Why, indeed. They're very suggestive, aren't they? These, uh, these lathering, getting you all lathered up. Yeah. I'm not sure I quite fancy the idea of getting lathered up with the Gamma Rian guard. Mm-hmm. Have you got any of these then, Jason? Are these soaps? No, I'm just, I'm just trying to do a set of the bottles. Um, once, once I've exhausted bottles, I may, I may go soap, because the soaps look like fun. They do. I do have a cabinet that's full of, you know, various other, you know, Addis shampoos and various other clear mm-hmm. Stuff so it's a logical way to go, just to start. Yeah, it is logical, yes. Yeah, I we'll think see, you can we'll find it. Find it rogue fun. If there's all loads of soaps at Rogue Fun, I might just buy them all. We'll I see. wouldn't mind getting one of the Princess Leia ones because it is the fact that it says pretty Princess Leia just makes me laugh. Ben Potter's got so, loads. That, um, they, let's see, yeah, they, they, uh, they're, they're stuck on their stand at the last echo. Pick them all up at the next echo, then yeah. Oh, I, just, I might just ask them to send me one, I'll buy one often. Those soaps can all be bought individually, but there are also two different four-packs. Oh. So there is a four-pack with R2-D2, C-3PO, Darth Vader, and Lando Calrissian. Now, R2-D2 and Lando Calrissian not available separately. You have also got Princess Leia, Luke Skywalker, Yoda, and Chewbacca. And again, Chewbacca not available separately. So there you go. Some characters you can only get in the four packs. Mm. Yeah, Lando's just, gr- well, bluey grey, kind of his colour of his cloak. They copped out on that one. Yeah. And these soaps, basically, the each tablet of soap, you've got a sculpted character on the front with the character name below. And on the back, you have the Star Wars logo and the trademark information. There you go. Right, oddities, Pete. Oddities. So we'll go down a little list. We've got the Luke Skywalker belt kit, which is, okay, a belt kit. So they couldn't want to call it a beauty kit, so they called it a belt kit. And that's just bubble bath, shampoo, soap. And what on earth is that? A belt with belt loops on the bag. Yeah. Well, what, don't, yeah don't... what else is in there? Don't you remember that scene in the Empire Strikes Back where Luke's running around Cloud City with his uh, with his wash bag on his belt? <laughs> oh, it's a comb. He's got a comb in there as well. Wow, just an orange comb apparently. That's all right, I guess. You know. Yeah, it's he's not got bad, his is belt it? kit. He's got a wash somewhere. You know, he's so sitting in that dirty X one all the time. So it's a shampoo and a bubble bath, but they're not the figural. Uh, bottles are they? They're just the no, they're the uh, they're those, the same bottles. bottles as the refill or the refuel, aren't they? They look like it, yeah. I mean, they've, they've got different labels, so you've got Luke Skywalker, yeah, shampoo, yeah, Luke Skywalker, bubble got, bath, but yeah, that, so, that's printed on, isn't it? Is that printed on, or is it the labels? Hard to tell, isn't it? Probably printed, it's probably printed on, but um, yeah, um, Leia gets a red comb apparently, but she also gets. So in, in her bag, she's got soap, a shampoo, a cream rinse, mm, nice, a cologne splash. I guess they didn't want to put the word perfume for some reason. Cologne splash. Actually, it says cologne splash. I've never heard that before in my life. And a red comb. But uh, yeah, I, I, obviously now I need a Princess Leia cologne splash bowl. So if you ever see a, one of those, let me know. In a beauty bag. 
It, well, in a beauty bag, yeah. You just you just need to pick up the whole beauty bag, I think, Pete. Well, I just I don't know. I I just kind of like well, it's a bit dull. Um, but I do like the whole cologne splash. She can cologne splash me. Oh, I've been cologne splashed. Okay. Just watch watch right. your cream rinse. <laughs> An introducing Omni Cosmetics display poster, and also an X-Wing Omni Cosmetics display poster. They don't have pictures of all of these on the archive, do they? No, no, they don't. It's a bit of a shame, really, because uh, I think that sounds really cool. The store displays are really special. That's what I'm looking at now. Well, for me, it's the R2-D2 Styrofoam soap display, which is just, it looks like R2-D2, and they've put... Shelves were his body for for bath soap, bubble bath, and I can't read what the bottom of shampoo probably. Shampoo, um, shampoo it is. You can just shove all your soap products onto there. Fantastic! That'd be a great action figure stand, wouldn't great it? Great display. On the top That'd of there, you've got his, you've got his domed head with his blue panels, and it says uh, Star Wars bathroom products. Does it say Omni or something like that beneath it? Can't quite make that out. It's bath collection, I think. Collect them bath. all. Bath collection, collect them all. But the, the sides of the display are R2's legs and you've got his sculpted feet underneath. That is really oh, nice. That is epic. Well, I bet well. you don't see that often. That is uh, that, that, that would make any display. It's like, I remember a few years ago, I picked up, I think my mum got it actually, she picked up at some show or some church thing. And it was a little kind of, um, sort of uh, printed kind of vinyl plastic r2d2 which is also a, a little display stand i think i bought it to a, a father's from once and put little minifigures on it and it's just it was just such a good idea and was so well done it's very similar to that but obviously this is you know 40 odd years old but that is just a brilliant display someone had a really good idea there and they did it and it worked the other one that. That looks really good is the three shelf vader and emperor's royal guard display yeah which yeah, again, again the- the same that shape. really stands out, doesn't it? Again, that we, we've seen that artwork though many times. Um, but again, Return of the Jedi a bath collection. They've not gone with the Star Wars bath collection, but we've gone Return of the Jedi. So <clears throat> I wonder if they were going to plan to do something with this. You know, it seems seems that they they did they were doing Star Wars and they now they've gone Return of the Jedi. When Jedi came out, when Jedi proved to be a big hit, perhaps uh, people started focusing more on Jedi branded merchandise. I don't know. I'd love to find these sort of things out. Really, I mean, goodness knows who you could ever ask, even if they're still alive. You know, the the marketing people who made that decision. We're going to go return to Jedi. Maybe Luke's one. Well, guys, you need to go return to Jedi. That's what's sound there for everyone. So we've got a soap collection plastic tray as well. A very a bit dull there, but. Uh, Again, they've gone with Star Wars. Yeah, various different plastic trays. Uh, yeah, yeah, plastic trays. What more can you say? Again, turn? Galactic uh, size soap one. We've got a Return of the Jedi again. It suddenly appeared. Um, the shampoo refueling station. It's got back to Star Wars. Uh, we have got. There's no picture of the plastic bath collection display. We don't know if that's Star Wars or not. The bubble bath refueling station. The same thing. Star Wars again, with their blue and white kind of. Uh, thing really they had like two styles and they, in fact it was actually quite a consistent looking brand with all their labels and then a bit of return of the jedi at the end of it all it kind of feels like it was kind of tacked on at the end really anything else i think we're done pete i think we're done nice little range anyone else got it we know jason's got a bit yeah and just probably bought half it on ebay i'm gonna go and buy that soap off ben potter I, I had a four pack of the soaps that I sold to um, Joe from Leicester Vintage Toy Shop oh, okay. when, uh, when, he, when he came round here. I'd had them for ages, but they didn't really fit with any any of my yeah. runs. I quite like I quite liked them, but they still smell not, nice. Not, not for me. I've not I've not been on eBay once. Um, what once tonight? I like I like good. Well, I'm kind of disappointed because I was kind of like hoping you would go on there and then tell uh, us what you bought. I bought, I bought some accessories for my 12 inch figures from ben potter which i shall tell all next month Ooh. so if that's it if that's all we've done for this month we'll do another one next month 